nine. And we start with a follow up now to a story that we did last night about a clean restaurant that has many racist, sexist and other offensive signs being displayed throughout that restaurant. After seeing an enormous response from many of you on social media, we felt the story needed some more context. Six News anchor Adriana Alexander is here in the studio to give us an in-depth look at what was inside. Adriana? We initially made the decision yesterday to not show the pictures, jokes, and vulgar language seen inside the restaurant because it was offensive. But after seeing many comments on our social media pages from people wondering what was so bad, we want to revisit the story to give you a better understanding of what actually was inside the restaurant. A warning, many of the things you are about to see can be deemed offensive to a number of groups. Oh, yeah, inside are photos that are offensive to Hispanic, Black, Asian, and many other ethnic groups. There are anti-Semitic jokes along with jokes about sexual assault and people living with Down syndrome. The owner, Robert Ferrari, told us yesterday his customers brought in the signs and he defended his right to free speech. Colleen Mayor Debbie Nash King addressed that issue of free speech in a statement she released in response to our story. It reads in part, since this is a private business and not a governmental agency of the city of Colleen, we do not have the legal right to take any enforcement action or sanction the owner. Mayor Nash King went on to encourage members of the community to speak out against hate speech and discriminatory behavior whenever they encounter it. Even though the signage may be considered offensive, the mayor said that it is protected speech under the First Amendment. Her full statement is available on our website at KCENTV.com. Thank you, Adriana. Yeah, hundreds of comments on that story yeah. already. And Adriana being so transparent with our viewers. Thank you.